He is on the road. So while the cast is already here, please have a seat. I'll be short and sweet. You know me, how I do my press launches and my press events. Direct to the point. Okay, we'll do the Q&A. So that it will... Representation back then was just us being in film, which is important in a generation in generation the past. Seeing people that look like them on screen is very important. That's representation. How it's changed is an amazing thing. As Asians in Hollywood, we're at the highest profile we've been in Hollywood, the history of Hollywood right now, which is phenomenal. And what does representation mean? Now, what representation means back then, you understand that every role that we play. And 99% of the roles in Hollywood were written by white straight men, which is not, I mean, it's, it's fake or it means racist or anything. It's just one perspective of the world. Representation now is our stories being told by us, written by us, directed by us, and us having our perception and our storytelling, not just our faces, which is very important, but also our words and our direction as being a part of that's true representation and having the conversation of Hollywood now is the conversation of us as Filipinos, as Africans, as African Americans, as Latinos, us telling our stories. Because there's no way that, you know, white men can tell our stories in the same way that we can tell our stories. And so that's the new representation, the conversation of art through our own view and our own words. And financed by us. He also, yes, financed by us. Um, so I'm really, really hopeful for the future. I'm, I'm already grateful of, of, for today. Um, and uh, I know that, um, that I personally am being inspired by people who say that they've been inspired by the work that Dante and I've done in the past. So it's this really beautiful cycle that keeps coming back around. Thank you. On that side, I, I feel like it should go to the husband, ex-husband first. <laughs> uh, working with Casey, I actually knew Casey before we knew we were going to be working together. She was in Los Angeles, we bumped into each other. I, I thought she was just like a fan of um, sushi, because that's where we, we would meet up. And to find out she was this big star in the Philippines, she was very like, she didn't show it off like a lot of people would in the States. She didn't make a big deal of it. Uh, I think she really wanted to show her own identity. And so when I got on set, that's exactly what the person she was. She was really hard on herself, actually, uh, which I was surprised about. Um, and I thought that was really interesting because she comes from a family of actors and singers. So I think she felt like she had big shoes to fill. Um, and I felt that. And I felt, I felt that for her. And working with her was great. Like, she was just fun. She was very complimentary. Uh, she was just really awesome talent to work with. And being the first acting role on a feature with her, uh, she made me feel very comfortable being on set, along with everybody else here. She's great. Casey's amazing. Uh, I've, I've known her just through the social scenes of Manila for a bit. And uh, I told her, I mean, when I first worked, I told her, I remember meeting her mother for the first time at like a restaurant. I the first time I was in the Philippines like 20 years ago. The, the entourage coming to the restaurant. I'm like, I'm in an entourage coming to the restaurant, Casey. And, then, and there's a woman in the middle. And I'm like, who's that? And they're like, that's Sharon Coletta. And, and then Miss Coletta sent someone from her entourage to meet me. I'm telling this to Casey. She's like, what? I'm like, yeah, she summoned me to her table. <laughs> And then, uh, and I said, what am I supposed to do? I said, go say hi to Sharon. And I went to go say hi to Sharon. And uh, she said, you're the villain. I'm like, uh, I, I guess I am the villain. <laughs> but she was very sweet. And when, when I got to meet Casey and like hung out with her in the social scene, she's always just been very lovely. So when I got the chance to work with her, she was great. She came to, she came to the States to shoot with us in New York and she was very respectful of how we, what we do. We would have a lot of conversations of how things get done in the Philippines on the, on the sets as opposed to what we're doing in the States. And not that one is better than the other, but how we are going to kind of like weave what we're doing in and out. And I think 
we sat like a great repertoire. Just with us, we're poor with each other, but most of our work was with Paolo. So how, how did you feel about it? Oh. Um, uh, look, Kate. Casey is a Casey's a real life Disney princess in person and on, on camera. She's I mean, have you seen her skin? She, it's flawless. But I also think that's because of her inner beauty. She has an incredible deep well of inner beauty. Um, and I know everyone in this country and the country knows that too. Uh, but she's also an incredibly hard worker. And and like Kevin said, super hard on herself always came to, to the set prepared and ready to go, and uh, always asking what, what we needed from her, too. Um, and so I, I, would, I would work with her again in a second. I would work with all these people again in a second, but Casey is, she's top tier. Top. Uh, I, I am I'm also coming home, too. I was born here. I was, I was born in uh, uh, Metro Manila Hospital. That's what it was called back then. It's now called Makati Med. Uh, I left when I was one and a half. But what I love about our movie is that, um, and what I hope that we can share with the audience of the audiences of the Philippines is to allow them to get a, a window into what Asian American lives are like in New York City. A lot of, a lot of these places, the, the show was, I would say for the most, maybe 90%, 95% of it was entirely shot on location in New York City, and that's very rare. For, uh, for a movie, for a film, because it's very expensive. Um, but we were, we were lucky because of Jet's uh, connections and his friendships that he was able to get these Asian-centric businesses um, to, uh, to allow us to shoot in their, in their places. So um, I'm hoping that we can, we can have people visit us in New York and come to those places because of this movie, too. Thanks. Sure. Uh, so, I'm not Filipino, but uh, people thought I was Filipino growing up in America. Because you're cool, because you were a cool Asian guy. I think that you started it, though, because uh, everybody saw Rufio, and they, that's when people started calling me Filipino, which was really great. It was a before Hook or any representation, it was always the butt of the joke, the ugly Asian guy, which... I'm so proud to have been called Filipino and with a Filipino. So they call me an honorary Filipino, which is awesome. And being here, I'm just so proud that, uh, like Dante said, you guys have a lot of swag here that a lot of Asians don't have. And I think there's an opportunity here to come to the Philippines and do a theatrical release and not only make the country proud, but when we bring it back home to America, we can make other Asian Americans even more proud. And that's what I hope can happen while we're here. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the question is, this is the question actually. So the question is like, how do you feel that um, your audience will get to see a different side of Kevin or Randy, especially with handling relationships and hearing the Asian persuasion? I, I really appreciate that question because a lot of people don't know this background of me, but I, I'm a trained actor back in New York City. I started in 2009 pursuing that dream. And it just so happens that reality TV was the first thing that really hit for me. Um, Taking my shirt off on the beach was great, got a lot of attention. I played a certain role that was a side of me, which was just the lighthearted, fun, bushy, uh, bushy, I don't know where that came from. Wide-eyed and bushy-tailed, <laughs> six-packed uh, guy that was just coming into a world in Los Angeles, and I'm very used to an all-Asian cast. And I was really proud to come into an all Asian, mostly Asian cast. Uh, I didn't know you weren't Asian, by the way, for a while. No, that was a joke, obviously. Uh, but I think coming here was so, it was a great transition into acting again and to be in another all, mostly Asian uh, cast because that's where I feel home and that's where I wanted to be most of the time. Um, and I think the world will see, well, hopefully the whole world will see a different side of me 
as a talent, not just a reality guy because you know, in America, I don't know how it is here, but a lot of reality TV people don't get respect. They are just seen as like drama queens or just drama kings and people that just, oh, you just gotta be yourself. And I think what's great is I get to actually just show my skills and my artistic uh, ability as an actor now instead. So I, I, I'm really grateful for the Filipino community to not just encourage me to act again, but to give me a shot. Last time we all came together was in New York when we did um, when we went to the Soho Film Festival. So that was really the first time that we showed the film and got together after shooting last year. Um, and iba po yung feeling na nandito po tayo sa Pilipinas. And ito pong pelikula sinasabi ko, it's an American movie. But at the same time, may pusong Pilipino po ito. Um, napanood nyo na po, di ba, kanina? Yeah, so it's also one of my... I have only done two indies, and this is my first parang indie rom-com. So, sabi ko, simple nga taki lang, and totoong totoo. And, um, yun nga, parang maganda lang yung, yung naging experience na itong mga kasama kong cast, you know, sabi ko nga, <laughs> I watched them growing up. Just kidding. <laughs> I watched them, um, you know, because they've been around, they've been in, in working in this industry for much longer than I have. And so I, I admire them very much and I love their work. And fan po ako, fan girl ako. So to be in this movie because of Jet and uh, the casting, um, the producers that put me here, thank you for putting me here to have this experience with everyone. Napakasara po ng feeling na. Um, sa America din po nag-shoot. And now that we're here, syempre po, ang last na pelikula ko, ano rin, hindi sa MMFF, maybe almost 10 years ago. So, ito po yung pakiramdam ko na siguro po, tawag po ng tadhana, na dito po talaga ako. I to get this movie. Um, I saw Jet sa DM ko, and <laughs> hindi ko pa po kilala si Jet noon. And uh, nakita ko po na, wow, this is a three-time Tony and Grammy Award-winning producer. Sabi ko talaga, natanong ako sa mami ko, sabi ko, do you know this person? And mom said, you better reply to him. <laughs> <laughs> Hindi po kasi ako pala reply sa DM eh. Um, and yun, um, para ano nga yung tanong? Ito na, na ADHD. How did you prepare? Did you do? <laughs> Ay, yeah, so when I got the, when I got the call, um, the first thing he made us do was do a table read. So, syempre, hindi naman po uso yata dito sa ating table read. So, hanggang mga description, binabasa, ganon. Um, and it was so nice to see the chemistry. They're so easy to get along with. We laughed the whole time. And the boys got along so well. Kevin's the perfect sidekick. And Dante's so chill. Paula's so wow. Maginoo. And Tall, dark, and handsome, ganyan. Dante's so like tall, LA and so fabulous Filipino, ganyan. And then see Kevin, bling bling, ganon. And you know, it's Tita Fe, and you know. <laughs> um, I'm not allowed to disclose, po, pero meron na po mga project na pinag-uusapan. A brother here. Secret. Uh, also, we can get the next gen? May hopefully one day, yes. Pero, um, secret pa po. But definitely looking forward to 2024. Okay. Good luck. Oh, somebody said, I question. One more look here. Okay. This side, yeah. 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 On the left side. All right. All right. There you go, on the right, here.